Hi everyone, welcome back to the Blonde Psychic channel. Um, I have been at MIA for a while. Life has been busy, hectically busy, but I'm back and I am doing my horoscope monthly readings as promised. It's been a while in the works, but July 2020 horoscope reading. We're starting with my fire signs, we're starting with Aries, and look at them cards just going everywhere as I mentioned Aries. Aries must have some full-on energy happening. What's going on with my Aries people? Emotional. Emotional people. Emotional Aries out there. Please like, subscribe, and should sub <sighs> What is going on, Aries? The cards just flew everywhere again. Some of you are going through some changes in July. Some energy is hectic. Okay, as I was saying, please like, subscribe, and share. Help my little channel grow. Be doing these every month now. We'll be doing general horoscope. Um, what's going to happen for the month of July? Briefly touch on love and your current energy and what you can expect. And I'll do some charms as well. And then mid July, I'll do some love readings as well for horoscope. Okay, for my Aries, what can we expect? July 2020. If anything wants to come out, fall out. Please not everything at once. A couple there. Oh. I don't think you can see that quite. There we go. So we're going to do current situation, past energy, present and future energy. Then we'll do some card clarifiers. take them and then we'll do um some love brief love and um oracle messages and finish them off but your energies i feel like aries your energy is all over the place like full on cards have fallen out so many times a lot of you are unstable and going through some stuff job loss relationship loss what else are my guides telling me? Some of you even had a death. Um, death. Depression. Anxiety. <clears throat> Man, you've been going through a lot, haven't you? Okay. And outcome card. How many cards come out for your outcome? Look at them all. Jeez Louise, what's going on with you guys? Alright, outcome. Alright, wants to give me two, so we'll take him. Let's do some clarifiers after. If you guys are interested in purchasing this deck, it is my Blonde Psychic Traditional Tarot deck. I have a lot of decks at the moment out. These are, decks are good because actually if you don't even know how to read tarot and you want to buy tarot cards just to do at home, they have what the card is, brief description and then an in-depth description. So you can even do daily readings for yourself at home. I'll put the link below so you can purchase them. And I don't have just general tarot, I have oracle cards, icon cards, life series, lots of different cards. Um, so go check them out on my Etsy store too. Store Envy Store, sorry. Okay, bottom of the deck energy we have Page of Swords. Ideas and inspirations represents delay. What does that say? Delayed ideas, ideas, planning, and inspiration. As a person, the Page of Swords represents a young person, child, person who is at your heart, who is chatty, lively, quick thinking, analytical, log logical, and cool, and possesses a sharp mind. Some of you may be dealing with children, children issues. Um, some of this could be talking about healing your inner child as well. If you need to do work on healing your inner child, connect with me. I'm just starting to do that now as part of my um, new services. Some of you are dealing with children issues at the moment. We'll leave the bottom of the deck turned over. So current energy for the month of July for my Aries people, the tower. Focus. Some of you, as I said, have gone through a major change or going through a major change in July. Job loss. Relationships ending, moving house, being fired. 
something huge. The tower doesn't always represent bad energy. Sometimes it rep represents really positive energy. Change is necessary. Change teaches us, um, you know, change is necessary to end one chapter to move on to another. Change is uncomfortable sometimes. But change is also good because it ends one chapter. The universe knows what's not good for you, so it's removing it from your life and bringing order so you can start this new chapter in your life in July. Huge tower moment for a lot of you Aries people. And it's happening. That's the main focus of your July reading. You can see that card there, that tower card. All right, for your past, we've got the Magician, Temperance, and the Sun. So I feel like in the past... Um, you had manifested this beautiful life that you wanted. You had it all. I feel like you had it all. Good relationship, um, happy home, balance, security in all areas of your life. And it's showing this in the temperance card. Your life was balanced. You were happy, grounded. Everything was just going great in your life. And even the sun, as your past energy, comes out. Showing in the past as your past energy for July. So for, moving from June into July, you're in a good place in life. You got balance in all areas of your life and you manifested this beautiful life. Happy times all around. But this tower moment is going to happen. Start of July, you're going to expect sudden disruption to this beautiful, happy, harmonious time. The universe is saying, even though you're happy... You're not completely happy. Like the universe has a lesson for you to learn here. Something is not going right. And I think you know something is not going right. So I feel like some of you, put, some of you are putting on a false mask. And um, betraying to the world you have this beautiful life. But inside you know it's not. The universe, you can't hide anything from the universe. They know that it's not right. On the surface, service level. This is all surface level. June going into your life, service level, happy. Happy family, good job, happy in love, everything's good, right? This tower moment is happening, the universe is bringing this change. You can't stop it from happening. So for the present energy, we've got Justice, Four of Pentacles, and Page of Pentacles. So this is why this tower card's coming. You're putting on this false mask this it's like you're wearing a mask and the universe wants you to lift this mask off your justice is coming this tower moment is happening justice is coming in that this change is happening only to better your life i feel like it will hurt in the like it will hurt it will sting but you know it, the universe is bringing it in for a reason justice is being served I feel like a lot of you are spending a lot of money, you're very materialistic. As I said, you're putting on this false pretense that um, everything's good. You're keeping up with the Joneses. So that's saying keeping up with the Joneses. Like you feel like you have to keep up. You're in competition with someone. You have to portray that everything's perfect in your life. It's all getting to you. It's way too much. Stop the hoarding. Stop trying to keep up with the Joneses. This is where this change is coming. Complete change to your life is coming. Page of Pentacles. Pages are messengers. This messenger is coming to ground you. Maybe the change is just within yourselves. This major change is within yourselves. Maybe you're in financial debt, financial hardship. Maybe you're trying to keep up with this false pretense of life. This page is coming in and saying, you know what, stop. You can't afford this. You don't need that. You can't afford it. You don't need it. Stop doing it. Maybe you seek financial counselling. Maybe this person comes into your life and says, you know what, just be yourself. You are enough. You don't need all this other stuff in your life. You are enough. Just stop. As long as you have your loved ones around you, you'll be happy. Maybe you seek financial counselling. Maybe you return things that you don't need. Present energy is you becoming grounded. You becoming aware that you don't need these things to keep up with the Joneses. And you just starting to live a happier life. Because you're coming into this energy of, wow, I don't need these things to impress people. I don't need to keep up with the Joneses. I can be myself and people will still love me. 
this is the energy that you'll be stepping into this is the present energy okay so future energy king of pentacles showing you tr totally transformed by the end of july strong supportive even helping others the king of pentacles knows what he's doing with his money you're strong now you have your finances sorted you're like i just need money pay my bills buy my groceries that's all you need to do you've realized you don't need all this past energy and keeping up with the joneses you're a strong willed person now you put your mind you set your mind to these goals and you know what you're doing with your life now you're budgeting you're living you're paying your bills you even start savings i'm i'm feeling but you have more control over your life and finances and emotionally is bringing into you into this better frame of mind as well more positive and see what i mean these two cards for the future eight of cups and the hangman both representing the same thing here letting it go letting go of the old situation letting go of the past letting go of the need to control letting go of the need to keep up with the joneses letting go of materialism letting go of your old way of living eight of cups will represents walking away completely putting an end to the old and living this new beautiful emotionally free debt-free life big focus on money here aries people i'm glad that you're not um being materialistic anymore and you realize what you need in life you're now being your king of pentacles in control of your money in control of your finances saving paying your bills buying food not worrying about keeping up with the joneses powerful cards there and the outcome for the reading yep ten of swords you're sick of the exhaustion and you're sick of people talking about you this represents the past and you this is the mind frame where you were in and you've let it go this is not you anymore you're not in this ten of swords energy anymore you let it all go and now you're in this beautiful um two of wands energy you know overseas travel thinking about moving thinking about your next step of life where you want life to take you out with the old in with the new you're thinking where you can go where you can travel to what's next in life for you i see you riding what's that person doing standing on the edge of a cliff and looking into the universe and saying what's next for me looking beyond what's in the current state of mind looking beyond and wanting more for your life it's all about you and your money and expanding your world at the moment a lot of focus on you this month aries in july self-discovery planning your next step in life where you want to go travel new job maybe even new love but i didn't really get any romance in this reading for july it's all about you and getting stable again all right, let's do some clarifiers, but I think we're pretty clear about what July is about for you guys. So I don't think I really need to clarify much. You know what? I'm not even going to clarify anything because the story is pretty much straightforward. The tower moment comes in. You were living this beautiful materialistic life in the past. This was a false mask. Justice was served. You realized your, your mistakes and your bad ways, your bad habits. And you let it all go and you're in a healthier emotional state you're better in a better financial state and you're in your self-discovery your path to what's next in life i'm not even going to pull any clarifiers because i'm not even questioning anything in the reading for july because it's all self-explanatory your story has been told for july i will however pull you some oracle cards to get you some extra information whoa they just fell out and <laughs> i love that that card fell out let me just grab you one more i'll do this one so the first card that fell out girl boss live your own life this is about being independent working on yourself taking charge of, a, of your life look the outcome was self-discovery two of wands planning your life and i said journaling didn't i you were literally going to write down and plan what you want for the rest of your life or where you want to go or what adventure is waiting for you next in july that is so cool when the universe backs me up and says that i'm right love it love it love it and look motherfucking superstar live your best life this is the energy you will be living in in july by the end of july 
out with the old, in with the new, putting yourself first, living your best life, planning where you want to go and making your what's in your head your reality. And your final final card for July, deep think and manifest it and it will happen. As I just said, whatever you want to happen, you're going to make from your head into your reality. It's going to happen. And if you're interested in this deck, guys, this is my Blonde Psychic OG deck. You can order it again. I'll put the link below. This one's full of cute little cards with about life, love, work. Um, some of the ma minor, uh, major arcana cards in there. But that's a cute little deck to add to any reading or to just have fun with at home as well. Love when these readings back me up, though. Okay, let's have a look about love. I feel like you guys didn't get any love messages for July. Let's see if we can get anything. Big focus on yourselves for July. For my Aries people. Can we get any love messages for Aries for July please? Look, these don't want to come out. You're like, nah, just focus on yourself. Don't need any love messages. Alright, that's way too many. Can we please have some love messages for our Aries for July? Alright. Thank you. Oh, nice. Release your ex. Some The time has come to clear the energy. Maybe your exes are still on your mind. They didn't show up in this reading at all, so I don't think that's a real issue with you guys. But the cards have shown up, so maybe if your ex is still an issue in your life, release them from your life. Do some meditation. Salt bath's amazing. There's one on my YouTube channel. Release the X energy and um, really focus on yourself this month. But it's interesting, you got true love and calling in your soulmate. Maybe some of you do meet your soulmate in July. Maybe you focus, after you focus on yourself and sort yourself out, you do find your true love and you're calling in your soulmate. Interesting there. I'll leave those two cards there because they're important and the charms might reveal some more for them. And let me just do your current energy for July. I'm glad we didn't have to pull any clarifiers because usually, sometimes I'm stumped in readings. I'm like, what's that about? Wow. But for you guys, very straightforward. Spirit had a huge message for you and it was very straightforward. Any more energies for, whoa, that's way too much. Look how many cards come out. As I said, you guys are very self-focused and spirit wants to communicate with you a lot. And they did tell you exactly what you wanted to know. Alright. Let's have a look. You got patience. Be patient with yourself in July. You're going through a hard time, a big change. Real walking from one phase of life, one way of living to another. Does nothing but benefit you. But be patient and kind with yourself, okay? Walking away. You're walking away, as I said, from one phase of life to another. And this card just represents that. You're walking out the gate from your materialistic, money-orientated life into this new beautiful life where you're putting yourself first. And daughter spirit. Spirit is helping you with this transition. They wanted to communicate with you. And in July, you guys need to let go of your old way of living and move on to this new way of living. They've communicated with you through me that this needs to happen. In July, it's happening. I'm going to leave these cards out. Because what I'm going to do now, something I don't usually do with the charms, I usually read them separate. I'm going to grab my charms. Or is there any more messages that you want to deliver for Aries for July? I'm just going to see where they land. And try and get some more insight onto what you need to pay attention to. Okay. Beautiful. So for the tower energy, we got flower. Reminding you just to, you know, even though this chaotic time is going to happen in your life, just remember to try and stay grounded, try and breathe. If it gets too overwhelming for you, just go out in nature, release it to the release it to nature, ground yourself. Try and breathe. Try and stay grounded. Try and not to be too emotional through this change. Mother Nature is always there for you. Try and stay grounded. Try and stay 
level-headed during this change. What else have we got? Temperance got two. She got star. So temperance is amazing. Temperance is all about balance and change. Sorry, balance in your life. She got the star. So the stars is about wishes and hopes coming. Wishes fulfilled and hope. So you want to bring balance back into your life. This is why the star cars landed here. This is your hope. This is what you want to end up. This is the end of your reading energy. Hope, bringing hope back into your life, getting back to this beautiful balance with your new phase of life. And flip-flop, like you want to have fun. Remember to just stay balanced and have fun. Flip-flop for me represents beach, having fun, having fun in life. So you want to get back to this beautiful balanced way of life. And you will get there with this star, star card. And it's funny that these two char <laughs> charms landed on hoarding. So four of pentacles. You got hoarding and so this for me represents hoarding. And this is your materialistic um, view. I'll just hold this up so you can see it better. You got the moon. So deceptive energy. You're being deceptive to yourself. See? Deceptive to yourself. You're lying to yourself. As I said at the start of this reading, you're lying to yourself. You know the way you're living is not for you. So it's changing. And then you got the mirror as well, saying, take a look at yourself, what you're doing currently. You can't keep it up. It's not healthy. Take a look at yourself. Look at the deception. It's happening. And it's funny because you've got the star and moon charm. Very spiritual. Very spirit is talking to you. Big time through this reading. Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> Talks about start of you changing. Realizing you need to change. Seahorse energy. Very wise. Very playful. You're stepping out of this energy. You're realizing you need to become, you know, more grounded. Very grounded. What am I trying to think of here? I've drawn a blank. I'm sorry, guys. I've drawn a complete blank. Maybe also see the horses. The seahorse represents um, releasing your emotions to the sea. If you find it very hard um, at this point in time, release your emotions to the sea. And last, for your last charm, you got on Hanged Man, you got the building block. It shows you, you know, coming to a new level of life, building yourself up, letting yourself go, going through this change, completely changing. Building blocks of your life is changing. You realize this and you are letting it go. <clears throat> All right. So, guys, I think you've got a clear message there. I hope you enjoyed your reading for the month of July. If you like them, let me know in the comments below. And I'll keep doing them if you guys like them. Please keep a lookout for your love reading for Aries mid-July. Might even do it earlier if I get time. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to connecting with you soon. Bye-bye.